Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2014 favorites. I don't have a crazy amount of products and I kind of kept it that way because I just kind of wanted to share with you my favorite finds of this year, stuff that I just found this year. Not that like I loved for the entire year, but just stuff that like I found. My hair is wonky. Of course, story of my life. Um, but just stuff that I specifically found this year and has been my favorites. Because you guys see my favorites every single month, like my reoccurring favorites, or you see them in my like um, girl talk videos. Like you see these products that I use every day. But I wanted to share with you true finds that I found in 2014 that are like my favorite. So I have some makeup um, and then a couple of little like randomy skincare, hair care favorites. So let's get started with makeup. Um, first, I want to talk about the first two foundations that I found this year, and I absolutely love. I will link both of them. I have first impression reviews on them, and I will link both of them down below for you guys. But the first one I'm talking about should come as no surprise to you, because if you watch my videos, you know I'm obsessed with this stuff. It is the Youthful Wear Spotless um, Foundation by... Uh, Physician's Formula. I don't know why I drew a blank on that. This is in the color medium. I just love this stuff. First of all, how adorable is the packaging? Second of all, like it has like this little tubey thing, which is awesome for just putting product on the back of your hand. I think this foundation works so well with my skin because it is sort of like an oil-based foundation and it glides over my skin really well. And I think oil on my skin has really just worked for me. So I think actually using an oil-based foundation on my skin instead of like a water-based foundation has really improved just the look of my foundation, the wear of my foundation, just everything. It just works. I absolutely love this stuff. So I would recommend this for both dry and oily skin. I think it would work for both of you guys. So definitely check this foundation out. I know Physicians Formula can be one of the more pricier like brands at the drugstore but it's still very very affordable and I think I'm like almost out I'm totally going to repurchase this absolutely love it a similar foundation to that in the same way it like glides and blends over the skin is the L'Oreal magic nude powder liquid powder I found this more towards the end of my year here on YouTube but this stuff's amazing. It has the same sort of consistency as the youthful wear not nearly as much coverage because it is more of like I would consider this like a um, like a BB cream tinted foundation, tinted moisturizer sort of thing. It's got way more coverage than that, but it's a very natural look. It has that same oily, silicone-y feeling that glides over the skin, makes it so easy to blend out, but it just looks so natural on the skin. I would say this kind of replaced my L'Oreal BB, or not necessarily replaced it because I still love it, but I used it kind of simultaneously, like I would use one one day or this the other day. This stuff just, it's amazing. I really, really, really love this stuff. I use it with my Sigma F80, even though it says to use with your fingertips. I like using it with the brush because it just glides on the skin so flawlessly. I would not recommend this for oily skin, or dry skin though. Not super oily either. I do like a mix because this probably would emphasize dry patches and stuff because it is a pow liquid to powder foundation, but I still do set it with a powder. I don't need to, but I still do just because I'm a little bit oily. Um, but this stuff, yeah, another great foundation of the year. Moving on to my favorite powder that I found this year. I think I have a first impression on this as well. It's the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I'll link it if I have it. I'm pretty sure I do. But this stuff, I'm like... I have literally just little bits around the ends, but this stuff was really nice. Uh, last year, I want to say I used mostly the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, and I don't know if they discontinued that or this replaced it or if they still have it, but this is amazing. It is such a soft, finely milled powder. How you can tell if a powder is like really finely milled and won't look powder on your skin is just take it and rub it in between your two fingers. And if it's slippery and silky, then it's a very finely milled powder and it's not gonna look super powdery and cakey on your face. This stuff, amazing. I really need to purchase another one of these. I have a bunch of powders, but this one is just the one that I always run for. So yeah, love it. Okay, I have a couple of concealers. I actually only have two, but the colors are what I love about this foundation. I mean, this concealer. And it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I'm 
90% sure I have a first impression on one of these as well. So again, link it down below. I have two colors of this. I have 20 in sand and then 25 in medium. I use this in the like winter months as well as like underneath my eyes because it almost has like a yellowy tinge to it. And then I use this one, the medium, on my face. Um, during the summer to cover blemishes. This is probably the best drugstore concealer, the best concealer I've ever used. It comes in like a wand like this. If you've not tried it, you really need to. And then you just dab it on your face. It blends away so nicely and you cannot tell you have concealer on. So one thing that I hated about wearing concealers when I use concealers, I very rarely use concealers before I found these two babies, but you would see it on your skin. Even though you put powder on it, it would oxidize a certain way, or if you didn't put a full over foundation over it or didn't have something to blend it into, it never really sunk into my skin and blended and made it look natural. I would be able to see patch of concealer. Not cute. This stuff, that doesn't happen with. These are my favorite. I just tried the new um, foundation from them. I'm going to have a first impression on that as well. And I love it too. Secret is out. But these are just amazing drugstore. I think all of my stuff is drugstore, you guys. I just really love the drugstore. I'm sorry. Just do. It happens. Maybe one of my, two of my products is not drugstore. Okay, no. A couple of my products aren't drugstore. But the makeup is drugstore. I just love it. Another thing I found this year was the L'Oreal Visible Lift CCI. If you guys have followed my videos in the past, you knew I was obsessed with the Garnier Rollerball thing. And then I stumbled upon this when I was doing, again, another first impression, link down below. Um, I did a first impression on this and I was trying to find different rollerballs and this is better. It has better coverage. It lasts so long, you guys. I'm not kidding. I use this every day underneath my eyes as my only concealer. It's not going to do wonders, but it has like this little metal ball and it just kind of glides under the eyes and blends away nicely. It kind of just mutes and sort of blurs my under eye circles. Um, but if I'm like having a seriously, I did not get sleep day. I can't just use this, but I'll pile on a little more concealer over the top. But this is the start of anything before I put anything else on. I always use this first. It's just, it's really, really good. So if you're looking for something that you can just pop on and I can wear this like when I'm wearing nothing else or I can wear it when I'm wearing a full face, it's just like my go-to. I don't think I ever have a day where I don't use this. Even if I'm like putzing around my house and I feel like just kind of bleh, I will rub this underneath my eyes and I instantly feel like more awake and just... Yeah, it's a really awesome product. Love it. I haven't tried the Garnier. I mean, they're both the similar, but what I like about this is you can squeeze this a little bit too. And the Garnier one, you couldn't, not that I've needed to because I still feel like this has a lot of product in it, but I could squeeze it if to get all the last drops out. It's not like super squeezy, but you can squeeze it and more product comes out. So that's cool as well. All right, moving on to mascaras that I loved and found this year. I'm pretty sure I found this one this year. If not, it was like at the end of last year. Um, but these are my two favorite mascaras that I found, which I believe I have first impressions for these as well. I'm just going to be linking up a storm. The first one is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Now, this is one of the millions that they've had in their line. I have yet to try the new pink one, which I need to because I'm excited about that. This is just the perfect, like clump free lengthening mascara. It doesn't give you a lot of volume, but if you use it over something or use it in combination with something, it's amazing, but you can also use it on its own. It's probably one of my favorites from this whole line. Let me show you. It has the synthetic bristle, bristles. This one's like really dried out and it has the curved tip and it's very stiff, but it has a little bit of a bend, which I love. It's just an amazing mascara. If you have not tried out, um, any of the CoverGirl, you know, what is it? This is the, I don't know, volume? Lash Blast line. Uh, I recommend trying this one first. The orange one's phenomenal too, but that one is by far my favorite. And then another one that I fell in love with, and I don't know how I was not using this before, but it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. The only thing I struggle with with this, well, I used the original one and I loved that one as well, but this one's bolder and darker and beautiful, obviously. The only thing I struggle with this is during the warmer months, I will get transfer down onto my lower lash line. If I don't set my concealer heavily, like with powder, it does transfer. I've tried the waterproof. It's a completely different formula. I don't like it. This is my favorite though. Oh my God, my lashes just look good instantly and it doesn't weigh my lashes down. I have very long lashes but they tend to want to go doop so I have to curl them and sort of use this but when I do 
Hmm. You better believe it. I love my lashes with this. It's phenomenal. It's like $5, you guys. Amazing, amazing mascara. It's different than the CoverGirl. This is like one of the only brushes that I like that are like this. Very standard, typical brush. A lot of product comes out on here, and you just need like two coats. You're good to go. And the more dry it gets, the less clumpy it gets. So if you just got one and it's like, ugh, it's so clumpy, wait a little while and it won't be clumpy anymore. I promise. Well, don't promise, but that's my experience with it. I have one lip product that I found and loved this entire year, and I'm actually wearing it on my lips now. I wear it in like a lot of my videos, and I also wear it pretty much every night that I go out if I'm not wearing like a red lip for the winter. Like this is my summer going out, night out, black dress, Bold lips. This is the matte um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Addis Ababa. It's beautiful, you guys. It is matte. Hence, it stays a really long time. I do need to put like a color. I mean, a lip. Sorry, I had to. A like chapstick underneath it, or my lips get really dry. But the color is so pretty and. It's just gorgeous. I love this stuff, you guys. Um, I have a lot of colors that are similar to this. Revlon's, um, Just Bitten, or no, Revlon's, um, Kissable Balm Stain, and their, uh, what's the other one? Lip Butter in Lollipop is very similar to this if you can't get NYX, um, in your area, but it's not matte. They're more shiny, but this is a perfect for matte lip. So, so, so pretty, you guys. Comment on it pretty much anytime I wear it. I love wearing it with, like, basic outfits, because it's just, like, Bam. Anyways, um, moving on to a lash product that I found. That these are like all my makeup products are done. I'm just moving on to some other little randomy bits. But um, I found Rapid Lash. I think I actually found it last year or two years ago, but I consistently used it the most this year and saw the most results with it. So this is Rapid Lash, and I get this off of Walmart.com. That's where I can find it the cheapest. It's like 30 bucks, I think. Yeah, really, really, really affordable. It just comes in like a little eyeliner sort of like thing, and you just run it along your eyelash, uh, li, 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 lash line upper. You can put it on your lower, but whenever I put it on my lower, it gets in my eyes and I burn, and it, it just, it's not good. But my upper lash line, I see a huge difference in my eyelashes. And I already have decently long lashes, but when I use this consistently, oh my god, you guys, you have to try this. I'm not kidding. Um, I know it can run upwards to $50 if you buy it at other places, but Walmart.com, amazing. So, moving on to nail polishes. Two nail polishes that I found this year and loved this year are by Essie. The first one is Ballet Slippers. This is like my go-to... I'm going to sneeze. Achoo! God bless me. This is my go-to for work. I work at Hollister, and we have to have very, like, natural, not necessarily natural, but it's nice to just have a natural, clean nail that's just very professional and clean looking and Essie's ballet slippers is mine it's a very muted pink but it looks just like your natural nail color just really really enhanced and beautiful and if you put like two or three coats on with such feet on top it literally looks like you have a gel polish it's so so pretty I pretty much get compliments every time I wear this because it's just such a clean natural nail look and then when I want something fun and bright I, but it's still muted this is um, Essie's mint candy apple this was my go-to all summer. I'm pretty sure this lived on my nails. I'm not even kidding you guys. I stink and love this color. It's more of like a blue, not a mint. It's more of a mint blue, not a mint green, which I thought it was going to be with mint candy apple. I thought green, but it's blue and it's beautiful. I love this stuff. It's very similar to Sally Hansen's Breezy Blue, I believe, but this one I like a little bit better because it's completely cream and Breezy Blue has like a sheen to it. Both beautiful colors, but this one's my favorite. So those have been my two favorite nail polishes this year that I found this year and wore the heck out of this year. Honestly, this, I think I have like this much left. Yeah, I went through that bottle pretty quickly. Now, moving on to my one body care product that I have this year that I found and addicted to, again, is the Equate Beauty. This is compared to the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse. Now, I've heard nothing but amazing things about the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse, but I was just not interested in spending that much because I did have one that I really liked which I can't remember the name of it I don't remember it was one that I bought at Sally's and I liked it It was really really good but this stuff is phenomenal it dries so quickly it just looks like this it's like the dupe of Saint Tropez that you buy at like Sephora stuff like that that's like 30 40 35 dollars I think or 30 
30 to 35 this was like eight you guys I'm pretty sure it was eight. And it comes with the mitt. Well, you can buy the mitt there too. Um, it's just a mousse. And you just pump it on and smooth it on. It's such a natural, beautiful color. And it's not an offensive smell. I put it on before I go to bed. I'm dry. And then I wash it off in the morning. And you don't have any streaking. It's just phenomenal product. It's probably one of my favorite finds that I found this year because yeah, it's just awesome. Now I'm not a huge religious self tanner. I'm just like an every once in a while when I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a boost which I do. I should probably put this on tonight or something. But it's really, really, really good. So that's that. Moving on to my favorite skincare product that I found this year. Oh my God. It is basically this product, but this whole revolution in, in general. Basically, I started by using this Jules and S or Giles, Jules. I think it's Jules. Whatever. Regardless, this is what it looks like. Um, I got this sent to me from a company called Gloss 48 and they were sending things to me from this skincare line and this has been my all time favorite thing that they sent to me. It is a cleansing oil and I was using this so much and I would switch between this and the Garnier one but I loved this one the most and it has sunflower oil in it as one of their major oils but I just loved the idea of oil cleansing this year but I would only use at the beginning of the year I only use oil cleansing to get rid of my makeup I didn't use it to actually cleanse my face and now in the past month that's all I've been using no salicylic acid no benzoyl peroxide and my skin has been loving me it's crazy you guys so in here right now I do not have this product anymore it's kind of like the idea that turned me on to it, not necessarily the product itself, but it was a great product. In here, I have a mix between olive oil and castor oil. If you want to see the exact mix and like how I recommend for oily or normal or um, dry skin, I will link you to my December favorites where I mentioned this and the combination that I use. I freaking love oil cleansing. I basically rub it all over my face and then I put a hot towel, washcloth, let it sit for a couple minutes and then wipe it all off and I'm done. The oil residue helps moisturize my skin and no makeup is left on my skin. It's just, it's seriously changed my life with that. So can't tell you enough good things about oil cleansing. Totally try it in 2015. It's going to be the only thing I do for the rest of my life, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about was a hair care favorite. And you guys know I'm obsessed with the whole It's a 10 line. I still use that pretty much every single day. No, every time I wash my hair, it's not a pretty much. It's a definite. And then this is another product that I tried probably towards the middle of um, the year. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. Now, when I want to blow out and I blow dry my hair, which is all that often I would say it's probably like two three times a month if that yeah this has been my go-to I love it's a 10 products but this just gives me so much volume it's like a spray nozzle and you just spray it in your roots rub it around and blow dry your hair it gives me volume that lasts for days and I don't have to sit there with a round brush and brush my hair out this stuff's amazing I bought this my mom's a professional hairdresser so we went to like um, it's called Cosmoprof I think yeah, it's called Cosmo Prof. Um, but that's where I bought mine. But I'm not sure. I'm sure you can find it in salons and stuff like that. But it's been one of my favorite secret little products for like a boost. And it's different than a mousse. It doesn't leave it crunchy or sticky. It's just amazing. So yeah, guys, those are all of my products that I found in 2014 that I really loved. Mostly drugstore, you guys. There was a couple of two or three high ends. No like not really there was like nothing so I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful and let me know what some of your favorite products are for 2014 but I'm just really excited for 2015 and I'm kind of gonna start expanding into different sorts of makeup um, I definitely want to try out some mineral makeup so let me know if you guys like have a favorite mineral makeup line I definitely want to start doing some first impressions on maybe even some higher-end makeup so let me know what you'd like to see down below and it, of course drugstore makeup because you know that's me but I love you guys. I hope you all had a, two, a fabulous 2014. And here's to 2015. I love you guys. Bye.